Yes, man. Welcome back to XA Channel 263, man. If you just joined us, you miss an incredible, an incredible workout. Did you see me? And of course, Abadu. Yes. Did you see me? How? It was ah. amazing. But he had to break so much that he ended up Next flying. Next time, we want to see you flying. So you need to, you okay, need yeah. to get I'll there. Okay, I'll do better. I'll do better. But right now, we're joined by the one and only incredible 1516, priding himself as an artist and using his music to reflect his feelings as well as alternative sounds to create and depict his mind as well as emotions. He yes. does not limit himself to one genre and has worked with so many artists and producers in and around Cape Town. He yeah. goes by the name of Incredible 1516. Welcome, Welcome to the, to the show. show. Hi guys. <laughs> okay, Jai. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm good. Okay, so let's get straight to it. Um, for someone who doesn't know Incredible, who, like, how would you describe yourself as Umuba Anuena and where do you come from? So I was born in Cape Town, born and raised in Cape Town, and I come from Enyanga, actually Enyanga. Yeah. Kulile mm Enyanga. -hmm. And yeah, I just uh, I make music. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> <laughs> the, That's all that I do. He makes music and he gets tattoos and, and, and piercings oh. also. Yeah, Count that in. <laughs> fashionista also. <laughs> that as well, yes. <laughs> so to those people that don't know who Incredible 1516 is, who are you and please tell me why the name Incredible 1516? So Incredible 1516 came about um, uh, a member of a group called IMK. I'm not sure if you guys know like, yeah. IMK. Like, um, he gave me that name, Incredible, because like uh, I was like rapping for them, and then they were like, "Now nah, you're Incredible." Oh, so yeah. I'm like, "Okay, I take I took that name." But then 1516 was um, the two years that like we started making music with mm -hmm. people from my school, from like my age group and my friends, and we called ourselves NIP, and then. Oh, yeah. We started making music in 2015 and 16, so those are the two years that I took, and then I put the 1516 and oh, I yeah. added it to my name. So that's yeah. where that came about. Well, that's so incredible, incredible. <laughs> 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 so, um, in terms of your sound, Yaka, because I do remember the first time actually listening to you, I, I even sent you a text, I was like, yo, dog, yeah. because I was not really expecting the kind of sound that you make. Yeah. So, in your, in your sound, you get to reflect a lot of emotions and how you feel and uh, everything about you. So, mm. take us through the journey of actually the kind of songs that you put out to the world and what the message or the aim for you is to be. So, um, the songs that I make are like, um, I just want to resonate with people mm. and people like, should just relate to whatever that I'm going through and then if they can relate to it as well, then that's what my message is, sure. basically, mm. in that way. So you do have a, a recent EP that has just been released, The mm. David Complex. Speak to us about that. So The David Complex is a concept that, I, um, that I've kind of borrowed from a TV show mm -hmm. called um, Legion. Mm -hmm. It's about a guy who's a, who's a mutant, it's a Marvel comic, so he's, he's a mutant and he has um, telekinetic powers and tele tele telepathy, yeah, yeah. yeah. and he, he's like an omega level a mutant, but um, so his life, he grew up and in his life is like, um, he always, always thought to himself that he's sick or that he's not okay and yeah. he's schizophrenic and so he just like goes to rehab and he, he's, he gets addicted to drugs and he, he just like his life is just in turmoil most oh, yeah. of the time, and then he just finds out recently that like he's uh, super he has superpowers and he's a a, a god level um mutant. Oh, yeah. So then he uses all of those um doubts and those insecurities that he had before mm. to his advantage, and he uses that as his superpower. Sure. So like adding to his actual superpowers as well. Oh, so, yeah. so all of that um, negative. Um, mentalities and insecurities that he had before about him being sick, uh, they just mm. turn to a good thing and a positive thing and becomes a superhero at the end of it. Mm. Okay. So, yeah. so I must say, I, I really like the, the, the creative process of everything and how you actually get mm. to come up with this industry. <laughs> And it's, it, it tells a lot about the sound that you make and the music that you're into. So I want to ask you, with Abandu that you, you, like, you are, are close with, because you are close with Abandu Bafan, Orisho, A Weaver, like I can count so many. So how do you utilize the skill of actually being who you are, representing the brand that you are incredible 1516? Mm -hmm. So how do you make the execution of it and actually finding a way to work around Nabamandu that are close to you? Um, uh, just I just make sure that they know that like, I'm comfortable with whatever sound that, that I'm comfortable with, so I would just oh, yeah. rather just stick to that instead. But, and also, they can also just be comfortable with what they want to be comfortable with as well. So, mm. 
that's how it works out basically because I'm always going to ask them to make um make it easier mm. for me mm. and, and vice versa as well if they need me to work on whatever they want to work on mm. so. so you're not going anywhere anytime soon you are performing for us later in the show it's called gravity yep. speak to us a little bit about this song rather what does this song exactly mean to you so the song is about addiction but like you addicted to Whatever you're addicted to, it can be a girl, it can be whatever, it can be. For me, it means mm. like music. Mm. So like you, you get a high out of it and then you get a low out of it. It comes to the pressures and it comes to the stresses about what it is. So it like it takes you up and then it brings you down yeah. again. Yeah. So like this, hence the title, Gravity. So wow, that's powerful. Oh okay. my goodness. <laughs> yeah, well, I was, please make sure that you do not go anywhere. But thank you cool for actually taking your time to actually sit down with us. Do not go in anywhere, Nani Emakai, as later on he will be performing on Mayako Gravity. But right now, let's do check out Lua Lua Lua.